Megan is not here today. She's taking ill, so uh, I'm thinking about her and then we'll just move on to Stan. Mr. Chairman. Um, so existing industry report or project report. Uh, we're continuing to work with three existing industries, uh, working on planned expansions here in the near future. One of those being Nature Nates, which I'll talk about here shortly. Uh, another one is Project Red Robin, who we've been working on for a while. And project Downtown Valdosta, and they finally found the investors that they needed, and we'll hopefully get their sign agreements with them soon. So we'll, we'll start to hear more about that project here very shortly. And then uh, another project called Project Telex, which is a local industry who's expanding, uh, adding a new production line, and they will, it's a $3 million expansion with 20 new jobs. So we'll be hearing about that one very shortly as well. So. And then we also continue to work on six active uh, state projects. Um, and those total to be about 500 jobs and $200 million total. So those are going to continue to work. Uh, existing industry visits you see there, SAP, ADM, ADB, South Georgia Pecan, which we did, which you will see uh, the South or the Boston State Times on the business spotlight on them uh, at the end of this month. Uh, Lowe's, RDC, Ring Container Warehouse Rentals of Georgia, and Sunset Farms. And then um, moving on to Nature Nates, talk about that a little bit. Nature Nates is doing really well. They're doing better than they thought they would start out. So um, they, their original agreement was 15 new jobs and uh, $2 million capital investment. They're already at 25 jobs. Um, and they're about $3 million capital investment so far. So with that, they need additional employee parking. So the one they have now is kind of insufficient. But where the parking lot will need to go when they expand is on some of our property that is now. It's not part of their current lot. So we're working on getting a plat drawn up for that so we can kind of work on a little bit of agreement to um, to, to transfer that property to them. And then they're also going to, you see in the top, in the green box up here, they're going to add a 10,000 square foot storage warehouse as well. So they're working on plans with that, and that total investment will be about $275,000 to get that done. Um, the contractor is working on getting, getting us plans so we can look at those and make sure they meet the covenants. And then once that's done, hopefully we can uh, approve that by the next meeting, hopefully. So that's what they have going on. So kudos to Nation Ace are doing a really good job and they've been a great asset so far. Um, moving on to the next line item, Miller Business Park mailbox. So this has been interesting. So uh, Nation Ace has been in there and they've been trying to get a mailbox since they've established since they've been in there. Well, the United States Postal Service has a new policy where all enclosed, I guess, business parks or neighborhoods have to go with what they call um, central box units. So that's what the postmaster has requested us do in our Miller business park. Um, with that, I met the um, manager of the post office out at the location, and we kind of decided on where the roundabout is in Miller Business Park there, um, putting the central box unit um, just for kind of a central location in case any other um, businesses were to locate out there. It's just kind of a fair spot. Um, but with that, there's going to come some costs, so I just want to kind of give y'all a heads up. Um, Nation H really needs, they want a mailbox, all their mail's going to the post office now, so we're going to try and work as fast as we can to get this done. Uh, the central box units should cost anywhere between $1,000 and $2,000. Um, but the post office wants us to have, you know, you can't just put it on the roundabout where traffic's going to be going. We need to at least do a cut out in there in one or two parking spaces. So there's going to be some cost associated with this project. Um, so I'm working with um, the engineering firm to kind of come up with some designs and see what would work best. So. Just want to give you a full warning of what's coming. So, any questions? Do, does this really need to be done when there's only one mail delivery in the park? 
Well, well, Major Nate, Nate ridiculous. I mean, uh, Major Nate wants. No, no, talk to the postmaster. Uh, well, no, it's a, this is a federal policy. Well, let's go to what you can call. I mean, this, this is grossly stupid. <laughs> Excuse me. I agree, Jerry. See if I can just put a mailbox up and give them open access. Why, why, they're going to make one delivery in the middle of this park for the rest of this year at least. Why can't they just make it at, the, at Nature Nets? They're not, yeah, I mean, they're not even going out there now. It's not even on the route. So they're just, all their mail is going to the post office. Hello. Can't you, we want you to go to the business park one time. And until we have another tenant, can you just do it at Nature Today and put it and put the mailbox at Nature? Can, can some adult? I mean, can we go talk to them? Can we sue them? <laughs> sue them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sue. Do you have an idea? Are we talking ten thousand dollars total? I mean, we're going to cut through and we're going to have to do a cut through. Yeah, we're going to have to do some curb cutting and some paving in there. Do you have any ballpark idea? No, I would. I always think it would be ten thousand dollars. I think there's a sure slice of that. Ten thousand for the mailbox. Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's about a thousand. The ones I've looked at, he said, and they kind of, you know, that's what they looked at. We talked about doing like that. You got curb gutter. You got some details. Like that. We don't. There's a regulation require yeah. two spaces. It, he just wants it safe for when the carrier drops the mail off and when they. Close. It is safe if there's only one business out there. Understand right now, I mean, that would be the temporary fix, I would presume. I think the court thinks we're going to get into it, but if we have to do it, if we make the argument and we get turned down, we go back to the map. Yeah. You pull in right there to the right. Yeah. If you just have just a pull through, it comes off of the road and, and has the post here. Somebody can stop their car, get out, get their mail, and then keep going, or if the mail can turn around, back into the road. I mean, it's, it's probably because just, you're going to have to modify all of that for, to accommodate parking or whatever. It's so. probably just where it's wide enough where it can make an extra lane so somebody else could get yeah, 50 or so. <laughs> That's good. Uh, you know. This country is pretty good about money because the lane is heavy duty for truck traffic and that. Good. 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 Any other questions? All right, uh, and then another thing we've been working with uh, Boston State University pretty closely with the logistics and supply chain management class. We set up industry tours for September 30th um, from 1 to 5. We're going out to Lowe's, Smith Drug, and Dealers Distribution Center. So we're gonna, there's going to be about 25 uh, students and teachers. And, uh, so we're all going to do the tour, so that'll be really good. And hopefully we can get some case studies out of it and collect some data and see who's. So we can work with that to our former recruiting industries in this town. And then also Lowe's, uh, RDC celebrated 20 years, their 20th anniversary here uh, in Valdosta just earlier this month. Uh, it was a great Great event. Andrew and I went out there. They had a cookout and had a band going. Um, they had a grand old time. They did it over for all three of their shifts. So they did it Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, and Friday morning. So, um, so they're doing well, rock and rolling, and glad they're here. So that concludes our report. Any more comments? <laughs> Thanks, sir.